ever lose your keys or bag and can't remember where you left them, Apple's AirTag can help you find things fast. And today I'll show you how easy it is to set one up using your iPhone or iPad. Welcome to Owen's Tips for iOS, where I help seniors master their iPhones and iPads. If you find the video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Let's get started. This is an AirTag, a small tracking device from Apple. You can attach it to your keys, wallet, purse, luggage, or anything you don't want to lose. Your AirTag sends out a secure Bluetooth signal that can be detected by nearby devices in the Find My network. These devices send the location of your AirTag to iCloud. Then you can open the Find My app and see it on the map. The whole process is anonymous and encrypted to protect your privacy. To follow along with the setup, here's what you'll need. An iPhone or iPad with Bluetooth turned on. So if I come into the settings app and I locate Bluetooth, just make sure that Bluetooth is turned on. You'll also need to sign in to your Apple ID and the Find My app. So this is what the Find My app looks like. You'll also need to be able to get into the Find My app. A brand new AirTag, or if you have one already, you want to make sure that you have enough battery for it to be used. And if you don't, you'll take a battery like this one. This is a CR2032 battery and you can purchase them from Amazon and you'll be able to just take the back off of the AirTag and place the battery in. So you'll need either a brand new AirTag or one reset for reuse. And don't worry, I'll walk you through every step. If you're using a brand new AirTag, you'll need to pull the tab on the back of it to activate it. And once you do, a message will pop up on your phone saying AirTag, and you can tap on the button there to connect. So if you're using a uh, older AirTag that you've replaced the battery in, once you replace the battery, that AirTag, if it's been connected to something before, it's going to automatically connect. But if it hasn't, what you'll want to do is put the battery, a new battery, into the AirTag and don't close the case. What you'll want to do is put the case on and you'll hear a beep. Take it off, put it on until you hear another beep, and you'll do that consecutively for five times and that erases the AirTag. I will put a link in the video description so that to remind you that that's how you do it. It's very simple. But once you have the new battery in or you've pulled the tab, once you do, you're going to see the option to connect your AirTag. I'm going to tap on connect and it gives me a list of things here that I can connect, you know, that I can give my AirTag a name. So you can choose one of these, or if you have a custom name that you want to choose, you'll tap custom and hit continue. And now you have the option to put in a name. I'm going to tap on back. I'm going to scroll down until I see luggage because I'm going to add this to my luggage and I'm going to tap on continue. Once I do, you'll see that the air tag is linked to my particular Apple ID and you have to agree. So I'm going to go ahead and tap on agree. And now it's connecting to the AirTag. It may take a few minutes to do this, but it will assign the AirTag to that particular uh, Apple ID. And you'll see that it comes up and gives you some options of how this is going to work for you. Precision finding, you can play a sound to find your AirTag, and you can also share your AirTag with someone else if you need them to be able to help you locate it. I can tap on View in Find My, but we're going to do that a different way. Right now, I'm just going to tap on Done, and my AirTag has been set up. 
Now that we've set the air tag up, this is where you're going to find the settings for the air tag. And if you ever needed to locate the air tag, I'm going to open up the find my app. And you'll see right now it comes right into the maps and I have items highlighted. And that is where you're going to find your air tags is under items. I'm going to tap on where it says Ellen's luggage and come into the settings area of the air tag. It'll give you, uh, you know, where it's located. You can actually, if you can't find it, tap on it to play a sound to try to locate it. I'm going to tap stop. If it's somewhere nearby and it's not with you, if you tap on find nearby, it's going to locate it for you. But as you can see, when I tap on that, it's going to locate it that it's right next to me. And so I can tap on the uh, alarm sound to try to find it again, but it's telling me that it's right here. If you leave it behind in a hotel, I'm just going to swipe down from the tab here and close that out. If you leave it at a hotel or somewhere not with you, it's going to show you that location on the map. I'm going to swipe back up again. Whoops, let me just tap on luggage, swipe back up again. And you can show your contact info if you've lost your air tag so that if somebody else finds it, they know how to get in touch with you. You can share the item location to allow others to locate the item. So if somebody else has an air tag and you share the item's location, if somebody's in that area, it's going to beep them and then they can reach out to locate you. You can have notifications so that it notifies you when you've left it behind. So if you leave it behind in a hotel, and even if you're just going out for dinner, that notification is going to pop up in your, on your screen and tell you that you've left your air tag behind or your luggage behind in a hotel, which would be normal if you're just going out for dinner, but it will notify you if you leave your uh, air tag somewhere that you shouldn't have. We talked a little bit about the battery. It's a CR2032 little cell battery. Um, Apple says it lasts approximately a year. And one thing you should know is that there's a little trick to getting the back cover off. If you push down with two thumbs and turn it to the left, you'll see that it'll pop off and you can replace the battery. See, that was pretty simple. Now you can track your items anytime with just a few taps. If you're afraid you might get confused, you don't always have to come back and refer to this video. I've added a PDF download inside of the video description so that you have something to refer to when you go ahead and set up your AirTag. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.